Hey man, appreciate you sending these videos over to me. Let's get right into it. First thing I thought when I saw this, your first video was like, all right, we, we got a big dude here. Um, plus the amount of weight that you got on that bar is pretty good too. So you pull this off the ground like an animal, all right? You're a tall guy, you've got long limbs, automatically puts you at a mechanical disadvantage. If we think of work as weight times distance, the overall distance that you need to cause that weight to travel is going to be greater than somebody with shorter limbs. So being tall, having long limbs always puts you at an immediate disadvantage when it comes to lifting weights. You just have to end up moving it further than most the rest of us. So when you stack up over this bar, those joints have to bend pretty good. All right, you gotta have a pretty deep bend in the hip. All right, to get your butt low, a lot of things have to accommodate for it, and you've got it. But what I want you to focus on, and this will increase your lift by a significant amount, I think. Gravity is pulling, always pulling on everything. Plum, okay, vertically. So when you're pulling this weight, if we watch what happens in slow motion, where your body is configured as that weight leaves the ground. You see a little bit of rounding in the shoulders, all right, no big deal. Your butt's actually up pretty high. Now, you see this in all the deadlift videos. If gravity is pulling directly vertical, it, here's your shoulder. This is where your bar, that barbell is connected to your body. It's up here. Anything short of completely vertical here is going to cause whatever muscles are pulling your arm back to end up doing extra work. I hope you understood that. So when you start to lift that weight, if you're wasting a certain amount of energy trying to keep that bar pulled back against your shins. Naturally, if your butt were a little bit deeper and a little bit farther back, it, your shoulders would be here, which would be directly over the bar. Probably a little bit more of an arch in your back, but that, that belt's not allowing you to do that so well. But I understand this is a pretty heavy lift. Um, well done. I mean, you ripped the thing off the floor. Good, good lockout. Glutes are squeezed. Something else I want you to pay attention to? You'll see it here. Remember what I said about gravity pulling that bar vertically. Right now your weight is on the balls of your feet. Okay, once you put your hips back, that weight's gonna go a little bit more to your heels. But, the moment you cause tension to lift that off the ground, right there, the first thing you saw move there, it was your hips, look how high your hips go. If all of that effort of your hips going up should have been transferred to some degree to that bar, but instead, here you're folded over the bar, you're unfolding over the bar, and all of this has to be pulled from your back. Again, bar wants to go vertically, or rather gravity wants to pull straight down on that bar. Shoulders are up here, so again, putting a lot of energy here where it doesn't need to be. And because you're leaning so far forward, that belt is really just doing the work for you and keeping your back from exploding. The other interesting thing I want to mention here if you look where your weight is, and you lift that bar, heels come up. Heels come up off of the ground, which means your weight is way far forward. You lock it out perfect, drop it, whatever, to one PA, one rep max. You'll see the same theme here. Now, I'm not saying your deadlift is bad by any measure. What I'm saying is you've got a great deadlift but you could maximize whatever, you know, the advantages that you have of more muscle on a larger frame by improving the efficiency of your mechanics. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how high your hips go before that bar starts to move. Hips were way up. 
Imagine if, imagine if from the bottom to your hips right there was actually moving the bar, but instead you got isometric tension on your hamstrings, really just holding your hips and your knee at that angle. And all of that's coming from your back. You're trying to straighten your back up to lift that weight. You really don't have much room to thrust those hips forward. If you did in this position, that bar would only come four or five inches off of the ground. And what that means as far as a setup goes, is your setup good, decent, good enough. Now, if it were the forceful thrust of your hips forward that was going to lift that bar, hips are going to go way up. That's how I know you start the rep. Perfect. Look where you are. Look where you are. Perfect. Okay, knees are a little far forward. You'll see again, this is that video where your heels come up off of the ground. If you were in such a configuration where every bit of those hips rising meant an incremental rise in the bar, now you're maximizing the activation of your glutes and your hamstrings and relying much less on your lower back having to lift the bar from here up. Extending at the hip here isn't really going to do very much. You're looking at lumbar extension it needs to happen. All right, that's all what your belt is holding in. So you're going to want to set up. I mean, you're good here. But what you want to train in this position is activating your glutes before activating anything else. There's a way we can do that. There's just a time that's going on. One of the ways you can do it, and here I know this isn't a max lift for you because you don't have the belt on, and that's fine. One looks pretty good. I'm looking at your heels right now. I want to see what happens. Back on your heels, perfect. That's where the tension should be. I'm looking at that left heel, it's the best one I can see. Look how much your back has to look. Okay, well you got those platform shoes on. Good lift. What I would recommend on any of your submax deadlifts when you're not wearing the belt, focusing on a slow and controlled descent in perfect form, you're actually going to capitalize on more of the strength gains that are available rep for rep if you accentuate the negative, particularly in the deadlift, because that's your opportunity to practice and execute proper form as best as you can. That's training the brain. And that's all this is. I mean, as far as the changes that you've got to make in order to maximize your deadlift, I mean, they're small, but they're significant. Oh, and this thing. I'm glad you put this one in by accident, actually. Shit can this exercise. You don't need to fucking do this exercise. I'll tell you why since we're here. Remember what we said about gravity pulling vertically? All right, on the cable machine, you've got the benefit of changing the direction that gravity is pulling you, right? So right now that cable is pulling from this direction, all right? Which means that everything, in a very short explanation, everything here, okay, that's pulling against that weight needs to work and we could change that for example if that cable was up here pulling back all right everything down here resisting it all right posterior chain is going to be where the emphasis is so you going up and down because it's a shrug all right gravity's not there gravity's here so if you're going to maximize this exercise you want to emphasize these muscles pull those shoulders up and back all right head should probably be straight chin holding an apple underneath neutral cervical spine but frankly i'd shit can this exercise completely and if you're doing it if you're doing it because it's an accessory for your deadlifts this isn't going to be a weak link for your deadlifts a weak link for your deadlifts are going to be your grip strength feeling or your lower back feeling which is why you wear the belt so a much more effective accessory exercise would be something more along the lines of grip strength 
and lower that. So I hope that's helpful, man. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I know that was a pretty, pretty lengthy and thorough explanation. Uh, you probably got a few things you'd like to clarify. So just let me know. I'm happy to help, man.